Atmos, the way Atmos is designed and crafted is along the visions and the, the, the vision and the objectives of the Somalia uh, transitional plan. And ultimately, all these uh, developments really depend uh, on the kind of cohesive plan the political elite in Somalia is able to craft. And a kind of collective and a shared vision that the political, uh, that political actors within Somalia are also able to, to chart, uh, to map, and to provide leadership uh, for the country. What kind of differences shall we see in terms of mandate as AMISOM now moves to ATMIS? ATMIS will also build on those existing efforts, those existing commitment of existing commitments of AMISOM, but it will also uh, it's 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 also supposed to support in terms of developing the capacity of the Somali security forces. That is an important pillar of the new uh, of the new mission. In addition to that, ATMIS is also expected to provide support into the overall peace and reconciliation efforts in, in Somalia. Under AMISOM, the force commander of AMISOM really came, the, the position was uh, based on a rotation basis among the various TCC. Whereas with um, ATMIS now, uh, the plan is to have the force commander from the largest troop contributing country. With ATMIS, are we going to see different formalities in terms of funding? Uh, because we know funding was a big issue with AMISOM. Of course, the European Union has expressed interest in supporting uh, ATMIS. Uh, and the European Union is the largest donor uh, for AMISOM. It has also stressed that it has very little appetite in terms of providing support to the old structure of AMISOM, which mainly focused on combat, on the troops on the ground. So the, the the interest is more on the peace building aspect, on the institution building aspect and state building aspect. So there needs to be a more of a comprehensive, to, to support the comprehensive uh, stabilization process of the country. Again, when it comes to the funding from the EU side, uh, also in the context of the current uh, global crisis and the war in Ukraine, that has also created a bit of, um, um, that has raised a lot of questions regarding Will there be similar kind of level of attention now that the European Union is committing to support Ukraine through the European Peace Facility? Um, and what will that mean for the transition in Somalia and for the, uh, for the operationalization of the new mission?